Hello and welcome to this video on New Line Interactive Panels in DPS. In this video, we will show you how to connect a Windows teacher laptop to the New Line Interactive Panel such that you can operate what's on your laptop by touching the panel. When your New Line panel is installed, either in the accessory box that we mentioned in a previous video, or the installers themselves may have set up the cables for connecting to your laptop. It requires two cables. It requires a USB cable and also an HDMI cable. The HDMI cable is the one that carries the audio and video signals. The USB cable carries the touch interactivity. Both are required for the optimal experience on the new line. If these were not installed by your installer, Please make sure when you put them into the side of the panel, in similar ports on the side of the panel, that they go adjacent to each other. There are pairs of ports on the side that these need to be connected to. So you don't want to put the HDMI in a top port and the USB further down in a different port. That They won't communicate with each other properly if you do that. So make sure they're adjacent when they're plugged in to the side of the panel. There are also some ports on the front of the panel that can also be used for connections, but we do not recommend that because then you have cables sticking out of the front of your panel and you might bump against those and snap off or break off the cable connections there. So to connect the Windows laptop, I have a teacher laptop here. The panel is on. I'm going to plug in both cables, both the HDMI and the touch cables to the ports on the laptop. I have two on the back of my laptop, so I'll use those two. There's usually only one HDMI port on a laptop, but there might be several USB ports to choose from. Doesn't matter which USB for ports you use. Then I can put my laptop over here. I'm keeping it in the frame, but a teacher could have it further away if they wanted to, out of the way. Um, and right away, the panel recognized that connection and brought me right to it, which is fantastic. If that didn't happen, let me show you what you can do. I'm gonna tap my side window over here and hit the house icon to go back home. So back on this main screen, again, these little grayed out areas here show all the different ports on the panel. All of them are a light gray except for one which has turned white. That means the panel is sensing an input on that port. If I tap that port, it says HDMI 2, it gives me a preview of my laptop screen right here. So it shows me what that source will be. If I tap it again, now I'm actually at my teacher laptop. And I can see the screen, but the best thing, because I've connected the USB port, is I could actually tap anywhere on the screen and I am running my laptop by touching the panel. So I could bring up a Google slide deck and I could tap to go to the next slide and be showing that for my students, just as if I was clicking on the slide. There we go. I can swipe backwards to go back in my deck. If I'm on a different tab, let's say I go over here to Desmos, I can actually hold on the screen to scroll that website. So I'm just placing my stylus on the screen and dragging up. I could do the same thing with my finger if I wanted to, doesn't matter what I want to use. So again, touching or pressing with the stylus is just like clicking your mouse and dragging um, on your computer. So that is how to connect a Windows laptop correctly with both HDMI and the USB touch cable to your interactive panel. 